Hello buddies, yesterday I shared a video on how you can make your own suya both for home use and for sale or for commercial use. So in this video I'll be showing you two different ways you can make your own suya spice at home. So if you're in Nigeria, the first recipe should work for you and if you're in outside of Nigeria, the second recipe should work for you. So these are the things you need. You need time the cooking time we all know you also need black pepper corns next you also need selim seeds or what we call oda in in Igbo language you also need um the northern nigerian or the hausa kajiji or kijiji i don't i can't remember the english name for now you also need cloves or what they call kanumfari you also need um calabash nutmeg or what we call ehu in Igbo language you also need dry ginger powder you also need dry hot chili powder or what the Hausa people call barokono you also need pasokori in Hausa I can't remember the, <laughs> the English name anyway but you also need it you can always uh, maybe check all those uh, aboki that sells or those house people that sells all these things they will just call the name they will give you so you also need um ground kuli kuli like i just showed you you also need salt you also need sugar to make this um suya spice yes then you also need seasoning cubes uh, some persons use msg in place of the seasoning that is uh, the ajinomoto in place of the seasoning cube but i think the seasoning cube is better now in your blender you add half tablespoon cloves, one tablespoon black pepper corns, six seeds of selim or six selim seeds. Okay, you may choose to roast the selim seeds a little, toast it in in your pan or on a hot plate or on your cooking um, top a little, just toast it a little before adding. Next, you add some kajiji or kijiji, anyone. Then, next, you add half tablespoon of thyme, two seasoning cubes, and just a quarter part of the pasokori. Okay, so once you add the pasokori, you can, you know, mash it a little before adding to your blender, or you can just crush it with your hands just this way before adding to your blender so that your blender can easily blend it. Next, you're going to be adding your roasted calabash nutmeg. So this calabash nutmeg, you need about five to six pieces of it. You're going to roast it either on a hot plate or in a saucepan or on your cooking top. Once you roast it, then you peel off the back. Or if you can't go all through this process, you can get the ones they have roasted already and peeled already from the market. Then you add it, um, add the calabash nutmeg into the blender. Add your seasoning cubes, like I said, and then. You're going to grind everything to powder just this way okay so once you are done grinding you're going to sieve it so that you can remove there is any like anything like chaff or anything there so everything will be you know removed and discarded or you can remove it and reblend again then um sieve it again so that you can get your powder just this way so once you are done you're going to be adding one cup of ground kuli kuli into this and then you're going to be adding your ginger powder two eating spoons of ginger powder okay you also have add one and a half eating spoons of the hot chili powder or the barocono you add it add about half tablespoon of garlic powder add one teaspoon of salt then you go ahead and combine all this together Make sure that everything is thoroughly combined. And once you are done combining that, you're going to be adding extra one seasoning cube. But if you think that the test is okay for you, fine, you can just leave it. But for this recipe, I added extra one seasoning cube. Then I went ahead and added one full eating spoon of granulated sugar with one over four teaspoon of extra salt. Okay, because I tested it and I felt like I needed to add extra salt. Next, you just add everything into the blender and then blend everything completely again and your suya spice is ready guys you can use this for your suya for your beef suya now if you want to spice it up you can add like onga seasoning any of those seasoning powder like any of those two seasoning powder and maybe a little bit of um, food color for especially for those that like to do like chicken um suya okay so like that so once you're done making your suya you close it airtight, put it in an airtight container, cover it, 
so that you can use it anytime you like. Now, this method too is for people that are not staying in Nigeria or for people that cannot go through getting all those um, pasokuri and all that. Just add a half cup of the ground kuli kuli into your plate. Then you add one seasoning cube, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder. Then you add a little bit of crushed nutmeg, like the normal nutmeg seed, not the calabash nutmeg this time around. The normal nutmeg seed. But if you also feel like you can get the calabash nutmeg and also add it, fine. But you know, most of these things are not easily found somewhere else, so that's why. Next, you add half a teaspoon of granulated sugar and combine everything together. And once you are done combining this, you're going to be adding salt. Okay, so you need about half teaspoon of salt, just add half teaspoon of salt and then combine everything. Once you're done combining all this, you go ahead blend again just like you did in the first one so that everything is going to come back together and you have your suya spice ready so guys i hope you're going to try this and when you do please don't forget to let me know in the comment section how it turned out for you and if you have not checked out my suya beef suya recipe please guys check it out see you in my next one Bye.